Thank you with Frankie Corrado, Jeff O'Neill, and Mike Johnson. This happens every year, but it always astounds me how quickly this desperate feeling can creep in in the series. The Leafs happens have, quickly. <laughs> the Leafs have lost one game, and yet I heard a thousand times today, if they lose this one, they're done. There's no way they're winning four out of five against the Bruins. Only one game, and they'll have to do what it looks like, again, without William Nylander, who skates but skates with the scratches afterwards. Again, we don't know what it is, but this is a weird situation. One of the most bizarre scenarios I've seen in the National Hockey League. Plays all 82 and then misses the first playoff game, and then he goes on the ice the next day, on the ice the next day, and then doesn't play in game two. I think he's not playing in game two, but why is he out there practicing and doing these stupid drills if you can't play a game? I thought in the NHL playoffs, you only stepped on the ice when you're ready to go play in the game. Fly back to Toronto and do this stuff at home. I really don't understand this. And the Toronto Maple Leafs, they can't criticize people for speculating because they could have cleared the air with this right away, James, and then everybody would have had their answer. Everyone's just sitting guessing, what is this guy up to? It's, it's tough to figure. We've all been doing the same thing, right? We've all been around dress rooms and playoffs and injured guys and sick guys and guys doing head injuries and guys doing off-ice stuff. We've all seen all these different things. You're trying to compute, well, what might this timeline look like? And none of it really makes sense. So I think it matters so much because he's such an important player. Like he's a difference making player when he's healthy, when he's right, when he's in the lineup. So I don't, I'm sure the teammates know. I don't know if they care, but it just is strange that they didn't get ahead of it by saying what it might be. Yeah. And, you know, we're still not quite sure a couple hours away. The worst wonder. is when you get a message from a guy that has no idea and he's like, are you hearing what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Come like, on. And I'm not, and don't tell, and don't tell me it's some sort of punishment. <laughs> oh, no, for that, the, is the, oh. that is the craziest thing I, I've heard about yes. this whole thing. But just to like take you into the, the dressing room when this type of stuff is going to happen, it's like if you have a little bit of a, a pulled muscle or something like that, you will find a way to play a game. It's not like you need this big, long, run-up, drawn-out thing that you're going to have during the regular season, you're not saving it for anything right now. So if you have the health to get through a skate, you probably mm. have the health to play somewhat of a game and be somewhat of what you are on the ice. Although this is my reminder, number one million, we're not doctors, and the Leafs aren't idiots. So there has to be some reasoning we'll find out at some point, maybe. Jimmy, all I know is a guy like Gary Roberts, the grizzled veterans I played with, they would have said, don't even think about stepping on that ice if you can't play in a game. You go out there for a practice, you can play in a game. They and, would lose it. And, unless he's got he's got a tight back and he wants to try to see if he can play with it and loosen it up. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, you know, maybe he wants to get on this, make sure he's going to be able to do what he needs to do. But again, the timeline is tricky to, but to that, compute. Even that, it's like you go out for warm up and that's like, it's, it's a game time decision. Yeah. You go out, you take your warm up, you play or you don't play. Like that's yeah. the time to figure it out. You rest all day, you do the treatment and then that's the time where you test yeah. it. I still think there has to be a reason in there somewhere. But again, <laughs> when we don't know any information, all you can do is speculate. The other thing, the Leafs have won eight straight, uh, sorry, lost eight straight to the Bruins. And that adds to the weight of this because if they win, then that switches everything. Suddenly you have home ice, you've broken the streak, and everything comes back your way. What has to happen for it to happen? Okay, so it's easy to say, well, it's goaltending, it's special teams, it's for it's they need to score. Why are the Toronto Maple Leafs a good team? Because they have a great offense, a top five offense in the NHL with some of the top players in the NHL. It's been six, eight playoff games with two or fewer goals scored. It's too many. They just have to find a way to score more goals. And it's not about the process, which I'm quite a big believer in. The playoffs, it's only about results. And right now, they're not getting them. And I get it's a good defensive team. And it's a good goalie. But that, that can't be a problem. If you're going to advance, it's got they have to find a way to score goals. What doesn't happen for the Toronto Maple Leafs in the playoffs? It happened last night. Adam Lowry has the Lowry game. Dakota Joshua has the Joshua game in Vancouver. But you know what, why doesn't Marner? Why doesn't yeah. Marner have the Marner game? Well, why are we not talking about that? It seems like that hasn't happened in a long time. You're for saying this Dakota team. Joshua and Adam Lowry. How about Matthews or Marner? Like, we're sure. not asking for depth, They're guys. They're much better players. They're asking for their stars to score goals. And this isn't about specific games. This is about their best players just going out and playing better. It's not about zone entries or cycle chances. <laughs> this is the production from these guys. They just have to find a way to say, you know what? I'm trying to expose some type of matchup out here, and I'm going to have my best game and take this thing back to Toronto with some momentum. They need goals. They could also use some saves, and that's been an issue for Samsonov. If you go back to the last couple of games of the regular season, it's three straight losses now, and the numbers have not been good for him whatsoever. Has to come up with something on this night to get Toronto back to Toronto, even in the series.